Hey everyone, welcome to the new segment on Star of the Universe Tarot. Back to bullshit as usual, your week ahead reading. So I'm starting off with the air signs, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Basically, the energies that we are getting into <coughs> is anything and everything that you need to know come Monday morning, okay? For work. It doesn't matter where you work. It doesn't matter... If you work in a restaurant, it doesn't matter if you work in a um, in an office, in a hotel, it don't matter. This is security. It's going to it's gonna pull out the energies of what's going on with the energies around you that's making it hard for you to work, okay? Or what it is that you need to focus on. Um, oh, really quick, really quick. PSA, PSA, public service announcement. Um... I'm putting uh, Star Fights for the Universe, uh, like retirement mode for a little bit, moving the full moon and the new moon readings live on IG. If you guys don't follow me on IG, feel free to. I provide motivational Monday messages. I also um, do Sunday Fun Day Week Ahead readings. Um, I also provide personal readings. Um, big part of the PSA. Personal readings, one, two, three, as I'm about to say this, if you have no interest of trying to help yourself, do not request a personal reading, please, please. Like, uh, my energy and my frequency is at a point where I get instant karma, okay, instant karma. If I do your readings and whatever comes out in your readings is, is what spirit wants, okay, like I never really intentionalize everything. I had to block somebody because they were lying about who they are. And what they were asking for in their personal reading. And one of my nail bro nails broke. I get instant karma. I'm not playing with you guys. If you're not planning to, if you're not planning to fix yourself, please, please do not, do not ask for a personal reading. Okay. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Let's get into this. Spirit, what do we need to know? Okay, so reversals just slipped out. What do we need to know? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Back to bullshit as usual. Week ahead and work. All right. We have relationships and fire magic. Okay. <clears throat> and then you have entity attachments under the deck with coven and groups. Okay. So right now what's going on is... With fire magic here, reversal and relationships, there is a lot of arguments going on at work. A lot of, uh, with the reversal card here, that is showing me that a lot of relationships or a lot of people that once associated with each other are now um, reversing. I'm hearing switching sides. I'm also hearing, um, I'm hearing passive aggressive too. I'm hearing passive aggressive. I'm hearing um, switching sides. And I'm hearing, um, and I'm hearing behind enemy lines. All right. So there's going to be a lot of disassociation here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, with any, with anything that does not align with you in your life as far as work relationships go. Um, if you were in this energy of being part of the group and being part of that kind of, uh, you know. Uh, like little click gang type thing going on um, you're definitely removing yourself from it because you're you're starting to notice how toxic it is and you just like with fire magic here you just can't keep up yeah all right <clears throat> we have investigate look closely ask questions and think before acting a lot of people you've noticed um, around you, especially in your workplace, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, like to jump into opportunities, not knowing what it is exactly that's being asked of them. And you have a type of, um, like a type of awareness to you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that you naturally look into things quickly, closely, analyze and read between the lines. These people don't know. So what's going on here is you're you're sitting by watching all these people jump into these positions that they have no idea what to do with. 
But you're being called like no need to fear. Like remember how powerful you are. Because at the end of the day, like you just need to sit back. I'm hearing sit back and watch the shit show. Sit back and watch the shit show. Yeah, because it's been too many times in the past that these people like they've gotten the like they've gotten the opportunity to come forth in truth, to come forth in in, you know, and actually work towards something better. But it just it's not working. Like these people these people don't come in truth, so nothing that they do ever comes into fruition. They talk a good game. That's what I'm hearing. You could be dealing with an air sign. Yeah, but it's good. There's going to be a tower moment coming very soon. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with the Scorpio because you're you're thinking about moving out. You're thinking about um, quitting your job. And with the six of with the six of um, swords here could be dealing with an Aquarius you're actually being led and guided to to leave the place of uh, uh, this establishment yeah because they there's no offers of love here there you don't even love what you do so once you started looking more closely into not only the people that you work with but the fact that you have no growth in this environment there's no growth in you know um like, you could be a boss figure, too, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that's already just been moved up to the highest position, and you realize there's n now that there's no room to grow or there's no room to move forward, you actually lost the passion or lost the love that you had for this job. Yeah, and you're coming enlightened about it with the Sun card here. You could be dealing with the Leo. But you're, you're ready to start your own business here with the Nine of Pentacles. And you've been kind of like dibble dabbling in indecision about it and for a while but you know that the whole world is at your hands the moment that you break free from this from this establishment to move forward by yourself Taurus Virgo Capricorn and you will see your ships coming in with the three of wands here yeah because you deserve this wish fulfillment you could be dealing with an Aquarius Once again, you deserve this wish fulfillment. Like, this is the key to your happiness. And the thing is, is this place, this place, it, it keeps you, like, in this angry um, type of demeanor. And once again, with the Knight of Cups here and the angry man, like, you don't love this place. You don't love how you, where you work. It, there's a lot of conflict in the background with the Mars energy coming from the angry man. You could be dealing with the Leo doesn't have to be <clears throat> but your heart's just not in it your heart's not in it anymore Taurus Virgo Capricorn and you know that it's time to move on so if you were wondering what to do with this job that you've been at I want to say for quite some time here um, some of you guys have have been here been there for about 14 months so a little bit over a year some of you guys have been there for for close to six years, and then some of you guys are going like close to two years. But you're you're really really starting to just you can't take it anymore. Yeah, and you know that you're losing your authenticity the the longer you stay here, the longer you stay in in this motion. Yeah, because there's a, with wave of power here. There's too many power struggles. And it's like, you're the boss already. I shouldn't have to go through power struggles. Like, I'm your boss. Yeah. Yeah, and, and with the present here, gift, treasure, revelation of own value, and now is like, there's no time like the present. And it's no longer unseen to you. Because whatever is being hidden in the background... Spirit is guiding you away from it because there's something brewing. I'm hearing there's something brewing in the background. You secretly, because yeah, and and you may may have come across some of your um some of your coworker secrets, and you don't want the burden of having to um, carry that in your soul or carry that in your heart. Yeah, and you know that that with with time comes wisdom, and that this is the key to 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 journey out. Yeah, 
So you got the six of swords twice. It's divinely guided for you to move on to this from this situation. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, because you're yearning to be somewhere else. You're yearning for something that you love. And you're yearning for, for a brand new beginning here. And spirit is leading you towards it. You just have to, you have to let go of this job first. So if you feel like you need a moment to find another job or or you're afraid that that you won't be able to support yourself in between you're going to be fine it's just the moment that like the this place is causing too many blockages for you that as long as you're energetically connected to this establishment you won't move on but the moment that you let go detach quit whatever it is put your two weeks notice and leave you're going to see you're going to notice that your journey wasn't in vain because you're actually going to open up a lot of opportunities for you Okay, that's what I got for you guys, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I hope this helped, and I'll talk to you guys real soon. Bye.